What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Golly, man, these cars don't stop. <laughs> I've been on a roll. I told y'all, told y'all I was going to be out here buying some cars. Hey, for better or worse, man, some of these cars are going to be great, and some of them are going to be duds. That's just the way it goes. We are back here at Insurance Auto Auctions, IAA, over here off of the uh, I-35 service road, far, far north end Oklahoma City. Uh, we are picking up another one today. In fact, I kind of saved the best for last. I think, I think this is the best for last. Guys, what we have today is a 2015 Chevy Sonic, 94,000 miles, Carfax, one owner. I paid $3,000 out the door for this car, no keys, and biohazard everywhere. Apparently it was stolen, theft recovery, clean title. The police found it months later. Obviously there was no keys in it because whoever stole it was most likely still using it. It looks like from the pictures it is full of clothes, junk, garbage, and needles. All of the windows say biohazard needles. So I am, I bought this one for you. All right, you right there watching this video, I literally bought this one for you. I was like, man, talk about content, right? Talk about something fun. We don't know if this thing's gonna run at all. Maybe a complete piece of junk. We may have just tossed three grand right out the window. We don't know what we're gonna find in this car other than obviously needles. Who knows, there could be drugs in this car. Hell, there, I doubt there's money in it, but there could definitely be drugs in this car. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna load it up on the trailer and then my goal I don't know if I'll be able to get it all done today but the goal is for this video to get the car on the trailer in fact there it is right there get it on the trailer and get it to the dealership and see if we can get a key cut for it today and see if we can uh <laughs> see if we can get this bad boy running here she is right here there it is, 2015 Chevy Sonic Bio Needle. Oh boy. Well, this should be a lot of fun. I'm guessing it's already in neutral. It's got a blown tire. And uh, looks like there's some bumper damage. That sucks, but you know, man, it is what it is, guys. This is just how this goes. We'll get her loaded up on the trailer, at which point we can, uh... <laughs> hey, maybe the key's in it. I doubt it. Let, let, let's get this thing on the trailer and see how bad... Oh, there's stuff hanging under it, man. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. This guy's got it. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, that's as far as you go. That's perfect. Perfect. Excellent. There you have it, guys. This is my first time seeing it. Uh, honestly, I did not see that the tire was missing. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little confused about that. I, I'm pretty sure in the pictures it had a tire. So, okay. Uh, as of right now, it doesn't have a tire. And it's got, what is this? What is this that came with it? I'm telling you guys, I'm going to have to pull up the, oh yeah, this, we can't take this, man. I don't know where that came from, but I, oh, no, 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 no. It's a bunch of oil. Uh, there's a plastic cover hanging off the bottom of it. It's got obviously some scrapes. It's got, uh, looks like brand new tires. Continental Control Contact Touring. Uh, it's a matching set of tires. Damn, I'm stepping in all this oil, that sucks. As you can see, bio needle, needle. Now I don't know if that's one needle. I don't know if that's a bunch of needles. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I see a hypodermic needle over there. Uh, there's a lot of girl stuff. Perfumes, charger. Oh, this, oh, there's a, some kind of a bandage. 
over there as well. Uh, the dash lights are on. It looked like this thing was in neutral. There's a cane. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is a lot of fun, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's, there's your needle right there. Uh, looks like somebody's food stamp card is right there as well. Lots of clothes, cigarettes, dashboard, the uh, glove box doesn't work. There's cigarettes there. There's pills right here. There's a lighter sitting right there. What kind of pills are these? It's an H49. You guys will have to look that up. Oval white pill. It says H49. I have no clue what that is. Uh, honestly, I probably don't want to know. My golly. Yeah, this car is... Uh, this car is gross, guys. I almost don't even want to touch none of this stuff, man. Ugh, just makeup everywhere. Needles or a needle. Why do I do this? I, I'm hoping there's going to be a key up in here somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really, really hoping we're just going to happen upon the key to this car. But I think we all know that that is most likely not gonna happen pop this what's back here you never know what you're gonna get with these cars guys you never know clothes 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 what is this what is this we got a, a Steve Madden Steve Madden.com pill bottle nothing in it what was this this was Fentermine HCL. Fentermine HCL. What the hell is Fentermine? Sounds almost like fentanyl. Oh, this is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be fun. I'm afraid when I take it to the dealership, they're not going to want anything to do with it, though. I think the dealership is going to take one look at this car and be like, biohazard? Needles? Hell to the no. Be very, very gentle back here. Uh, obviously, I don't want to get stuck. Just tons of clothes, man. Lots and lots of clothes. Uh, empty can of Smirnoff. A jack. A job application. Hey, because when you steal a car, the first thing you got to do is go get a job, right? Well, it sucks that that, that wheel is... Uh... Oh, they hit something. Yeah, they hit something, damaged the wheel. I think it'll be all right, guys. Let's pop the hood and see what's going on under here. Thankfully, it is a clean title. Uh, the last one of these I had was back when I first started my channel, and I sold it for I sold it for a little bit of money, guys. We sold it for well, I think it only had like sixty thousand miles. It has ninety four, but we sold that one for like forty five hundred. I got three grand into it. I don't know how much a key is going to cost, but it can't cost more than a couple hundred dollars. So. I guess that is our next objective for today. Let's uh, strap this bad boy down. Check the oil. Uh, it may not have oil, hold on. Oh man, tell me we don't have like a busted oil pan. There's no oil. No oil, but it does have coolant. Let's take a peek underneath while we're on this trailer. And uh, let's see if we can see. Yeah, this is this whole thing here is coming loose. That's got to be. I think all this just pops back in. It's those forklifts, man. Those forklifts really tear these things up. Forklift damage there. Forklift damage there. I can't even get under here, guys. Be honest with you. With the uh, the way this car sets. Oh man, I didn't see that. This is all crunched up to son of a gun, man. <sighs> We're not winning today, guys. Okay, the engine looks, everything under here looks like it's probably all right. That sucks right there. That sucks. Well, you know what, guys? At the end of the day, we just got to make the best of the situation at hand. That's what this is all about, guys. You got to do the best you can with the cards you're dealt. 
we'll uh, strap this sucker down and then we will get over to the dealership and see if they can cut us a new key for it and find out if it runs. Well, there we have it, guys. She is strapped down. Sucks there's a little more damage on this than I initially thought, man. It's obviously going to need a good cleaning if it runs and drives the course and needs a tire. Uh, I'll go back and check those pictures. Uh, I think it, the tire probably was blown. I must have just missed it. The damage down here, that's, again, forklifts, guys. Damage to the fender on the other side, I didn't see that. That was my bad as well. It's just the way it goes. But we've got her strapped down. She's ready to go. I'm ready to get out of here. Let's go see if the dealership can cut us a key or if they're going to tell us no. <laughs> they may. Guys, they really might. They may take one look at that with the biohazard and say, not a snowball's chance in hell. We're going to climb in that car and do anything. Hey, before we head on down there, take a look at the mileage on the truck, guys. She's sitting at just over 5,000 miles. She's almost due for her first oil change. 6,500 miles is coming soon. Let's get down to the dealership. All right, guys, so the people here at Hudeberg Chevrolet in Midwest City were cool enough to let me leave this thing on the trailer and pull it into their, uh, well, pull it into their stall here. Um, otherwise, we were gonna have to get it off the trailer. That was gonna be a real pain in the, you know what, because it's missing the tire over there. But total cost was about $100 for the key fob the, to, and to be cut. It's about another $160 to get it programmed since there's no existing key to the car. So we're gonna drop it right here, let it sit, and uh, we'll come back here in a few minutes. We'll find out if this thing, uh, if it runs and attempts to move or if it's gonna be dead as a doornail. Comment below right now, what do you think? Do you think it's gonna run and drive? Or do you think she's toast? We'll be back with the answer here in just a moment. All right, guys, they tell me that this thing is ready to go. I guess the only question left is, does it run and does it drive? Since they said it's ready, I'm assuming it runs, but we're not gonna know if it drives. Probably not gonna know in this video if it drives at all. There's nothing we can do with that uh, tire being off. There's no way we can do anything with it. So what we'll do is we'll take the key and uh, Well, the key fob doesn't seem to be working at all. Oh. What do you think, guys? I'll be if she runs. She does. She runs. Look at that. It actually runs pretty, oh, oil light. Okay, that's as far as we're gonna get with it now. Let's get it back to the house. Make sure we've got it full of oil. And uh, I guess we can go from there, guys. So we're gonna end up having to wrap up this video, guys. I'm uh, having a bad week. <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just say that I'm having a bad week. Uh, I noticed when I came out here that there was oil all over my trailer. And I said, oh boy, and the oil light was on earlier. We've got an oil leak. Well, um, I decided to pour a little oil in, try to get an idea of where this oil leak was coming from. And now, uh, as you can see, my trailer is completely soaked in oil. Yeah, the oil pan has a slight hole in it. A very, a very tiny hole, similar to what the Saab had, about the size of your, uh, you know, your pinky. So, uh, for right now, I'm, I can't, I can't deal with this. I've got a million other things going on. I'm going to get this down to AR headquarters, and I'm going to drop it off. I'm going to get a tire for it. I'm going to work on getting that oil pan hole fixed. We'll come back in another video, and that's what we're going to do. In another video, we're going to put the tire on it. In another video, we're going to get it all cleaned up. We're going to go through all the crap inside of it, get it cleaned out, make sure the oil pan's fixed, and from there, we can do a run and drive test. Depending on how it runs and drives, we'll determine whether or not I want to 
go through and do something like replace the fender for a good one, uh, possibly replace the bumper, maybe just leave this bumper on it and just replace the fender. I don't know. I don't know how far we're going to go with this one until we can get it on the road. So unfortunately, that's pretty much going to have to conclude this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned, guys, because I, I promise you in the next video, we're we're going to I don't want to touch it. We're, we're going to go through this whole car and it's getting emptied out. We're going to completely clean it out. I'll get all this oil clean off my trailer. But for right now, I just want to get this thing out of here off my trailer. And uh, hopefully we'll find out if the transmission works. We have no idea. We have no idea if the transmission is any good or not. Why is it constantly dinging? Are the lights on or something? No? It's just It just sits here and dings all day long. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go through this thing. We'll get it cleaned out. We'll get the tire on it. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we can make a few bucks on this one right now. Doesn't look like it, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, but right now it does not look like this is going to be a profitable vehicle. But regardless, thanks to all of you that are watching, um, I shouldn't lose any money on it. And I got to really give a big shout out and thank you to all of you for making this possible. For without you, I wouldn't be able to do it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to get out of here again. Big shout out and thank you to all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, do me a favor, give that video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job as well as lets me know that you guys enjoy what I'm doing. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button real quick. Just tap it or click it or whatever. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Auto Auction Rebuilds. Auto Auction Rebuilds with an S. You can see stuff like this cool car right here probably a week or two before you're ever going to see this stuff on video. With that, I am out of here, guys. Stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.